What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Who's that cool cat who's all that? His name is Andy. What? <laughs> what did you just do? Plagiarize. That's, that's what he just did. That's literally illegal. Oh, man. I thought it was funny, but I thought you were I thought you were just going to do the owl's cat. <laughs> the fault. I'd be like, we've gotten to the point where in 253 shows and we're doing callbacks to the great It's been a long to the great day. Scats but of I, all time. I'm all that. You guys missed the. Cha- I guess you're a cool. Yeah, no, it's, a deri- totally, it's you a changed, derivative. You changed it up because originally the cool cat was an owl. It was like a, it was a cover. It was a cover. I, ba- I even barely got it in there. Scat cover. It was a scat cover. Welcome in to the Spitballers, episode two fifty three. Well, I've got my scat for next I'm time sorry. around. <laughs> <laughs> Check. I was gonna say I'm sorry, Al. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Yeah, uh, Al's been. Pretty much just wandering around the studio doing nothing for most of the day. <laughs> Finally got an episode here at in this afternoon, and he's got something to do. Oh, so. man. It's no secret how lazy I am. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Far I mean, and wide. Oh, that's so not true. This is um, this is episode 253. Wow. We have Would You Rather? That's a great question. And we are drafting things that start <laughs> with the letter S. I love it. We... We've done a lot of dumb stuff on this show. This might be the dumbest. Tell just, that to Sesame Street. Just know I can get SpaghettiOs again. Yes. <laughs> I've got yeah. it. I've got it. Two of the last three drafts. I'm coming for another one. Uh, you can follow the show on Instagram. Instagram.com slash SpitBallersPod. We appreciate everybody at Join the Spit supporting the show. Let's get it going. Would you rather? Irina on Twitter says, would you rather, it's a simple one, gentlemen, mm-hmm. would you rather punch a hornet's nest <laughs> or a sleeping bear? Oh, so we man. Need, we need to tease this out a little bit and see what would happen to you. Okay. So if if I get in a fight with, the, like, let's just presume it goes poorly. The bear wakes up or the hornets are... Real fast. Real, real real upset. Real stingy. Real stingy. I feel like I could survive the hornets. Yes. I could not survive the bear. Correct. But that bear might be real sleepy. Yeah. There's I I did think of that. I did think of that. That if I if if I punch a bear, which No one knows how quick a bear can uh, kind of come to. But it's like a bear weighs how much? Like, Hundred million pounds. I mean, hold on. I'm I wanted to up. say that, but I don't think that's actually. No, I'm, I'm gonna that guess, is accurate. I'm going to go 800 pounds. I mean, that's it, a lot. What kind of bear? This, this, this got to be a grizzly. That's a grizzly, huh? I don't know. 700 pounds. Well, what, what kind of? <laughs> Can bear? I get a 600 pounds? <laughs> what kind of bear are we punching? A grizzly? <laughs> we're we're punching a, 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 a brown bear. Yeah. Okay. A brown bear. Brown okay. bear. Okay. Brown bear. All right. I'm going to go 500 pounds. <laughs> what is what's a brown bear wear, Jason? What is it? Where? Where? <laughs> Where's a top fur? hat? Where's fur? A top hat and, and a-, a speedo. Another thing that starts with the letter S. Um, how long? How can this be taking you this long to get a it bear's weight? Really it's because the ranges uh, are insane. Uh, it's the so here's the the first range from two Google. people can't figure this out. No, the, here's oh. the first range Google gives for a brown bear. Okay, I see. It's it. either oh. 180 pounds, okay. or 1,300 <laughs> pounds, like somewhere in that range. That's actually embarrassing. That uh, yeah. the National Park Service narrows it down a little. It's from 200 pounds to 1,000 pounds. Come on, <laughs> okay. like, we don't need to know what a baby bear weighs. <laughs> Give me the average bear. Uh, do we have to specify adult, large, <laughs> average? An average can't be one eighty to three. Oh, I've got a new. I've got a new source that's two hundred to one thousand. Oh, that's- so the the females are smaller, two hundred to four fifty. The males are three hundred to eight fifty. All right, it's still three. Okay, uh, let's, let's just call it. These just, details don't matter. But the, for Mike's point, it yeah, might. So it let's does. say seven hundred fifty pounds. Okay, so the, the point being, I was. Bears weigh multiple hundreds of pounds. <laughs> They're all over the place. Like, if I punch a bear, I don't know that the bear will have. It, it may go, huh? 
If and you punch just, it in the face? If I punch it in the face, it's going to... No, like, you're not. I'm not punching it in the face. This no. doesn't say I got to punch it in the oh, face. Oh, it's yeah. a punch in the face. No, oh. Got, no, no. What? I'm just, you a, could just punch it in the booty? Yeah, yeah. that's where I'm going. And then I'm a scooty. <laughs> I'm going to get out. You but ain't getting out, man. I think there there is a Because we are in a cave, to be clear. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. We're in the Don't run cave. the wrong way in the cave. Oh, There's, yeah. <laughs> just for the record. Oh, I got to get out of here. Oh, <laughs> no. I feel like I could punch... A thirteen hundred pound bear, and it would not feel it. That's why you got to punch but it. That's, in that's the a pretty snout. big risk in that's, the snout. Okay, fine. If, if, well, if I have to punch it in the snout, no matter what bear it is, I'm gonna punch the hornet's nest. I'm gonna give it everything I can. Like I'm playing the. Uh, you guys seen that punching game in the arcade? Yeah. yeah. So the the bag like lowers down. I'm I'm gonna try and knock this hornet nest <laughs> off. Yeah. I, I mean, if you if you had to punch it. Oh, you're trying to send it flying. Yeah, I'm trying to send it flying to give me extra room. No, so that's a. I th- can outrun hornets. That's a huge mistake. If you punch it too hard, your your fist. Oh, goes, I might just go through. Fist it. goes right <laughs> into the hornet's nest. You're running away. <laughs> you can't. Just stuck on my hand. It's on your hand you're while you're running. running. Oh, you can't, I mean, that's the danger right there. <laughs> You got you got to hammer fist punch it. You know See, what I mean? You got to you got to give oh, it one swing of down. Sw- okay. Yeah. My family had a uh, a hornet uh, adventure in the woods. Oh, that's not Did you, good. You didn't know that? Uh, it, it was a long I think time so. ago. I, I like, vaguely remember it. They were out hiking uh, with a church camp, and then like out of the blue, like thousands of hornets started attacking everybody. What? That's not, that's not great. And they all went sprinting out of the forest. All the all the parents were grabbing the kids and putting wow. them under their arms and running. Who punched the nest? <laughs> I don't. Probably one of the kids. One of the kids. Um, I I I don't know. Would the bear? I mean, if you're, would if it you're, swipe me real quick? Yeah, if you're. If probably we got to punch it in the face, we cannot choose the bear. Like no. like that that bear. The only chance we have of choosing the bear is that we could punch it, and he's like, mm, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, so sleepy. The hornets will not be indifferent to you punching them in any circumstance. The bear could be indifferent. Exactly. So I'm and punching the bear. But if the bear is not indifferent, <laughs> you are. You're I could die. Gone. I'm not dying you're from not, the hornets. Not could. You're you're gone. Is any have hornets ever killed people? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. If, if if you're allergic to them, then that's. Can that's you be a, allergic to hornets? Yeah. I feel like bees have got the. They, they definitely got, have a a better PR team. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. They got the Africanized. Nobody ever came and said Africanized hornets. Well, they got. Well, the, they have no, murder hornets. They have, so, oh, they I do mean, have they both hornet. have they decent have the, PR teams. <laughs> Japanese murder hornets. Shoot, that's a really good point. Um, Which those are? Oh my gosh, those are the those are the scariest thing on the planet. I think we have them out here. Well, the, that's murder hornets. Oh no, I'm thinking of the. Uh, they said they were maybe in the Pacific no, Northwest. No, I'm not thinking of murder hornets. I'm thinking of those uh, wasps that. Ha- that have the really painful sting. Well, we have the tarantula hawk. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. those are also terrifying. Yeah. Not good. Uh, um, all right. So you guys are going I, uh, I hornets? It's the hornets. So yeah. I, I, I Googled what happens if you hit a hornet's nest. Mm, and it says, learn. even if you knock down the nest, you still have up to 400 angry hornets coming your way. I, I, how, like, how fast can a hornet fly? You've That's always been afraid step. of hornets. Yeah, well, I'm afraid of all bugs that fly that have weapons. What he about is bears also that can't fly? Afraid of bear fights. <laughs> yes. I've always you know, been terrified of a bear fight. I'm hitting the bear. I don't think it's getting up and chasing me because it's going to think to itself, "Did I just get punched in the face by a person?" What if you hit the bear and then you stand real still because he was sleeping? Oh, guys, like a bad news. Oh, no. The hornets? The Asian giant hornet uh, can fly up to 25 miles an hour, Uh-oh. which uh, is faster than I can run. So you, running does nothing. <laughs> well, but I think they'll get, I think they'll give up. Cause they don't no, work. no. The murder hornets, they'll give up when you're, when you're murdered. <laughs> yeah, I guess that they got, they got a job to do. Yeah, they <laughs> well, they got bad cardio? No, hor- not hornets. They could fly for days. Mm. They're on the Peloton. You know, I'm, yeah. sw- I'm switching. I'm going to. I'm gonna punch Jay Grizz right in the mouth. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna live to tell about it. I was not aware of this. Twenty five miles an hour. That's really fast. Is that th- that's faster than um, Tyree Kill? <laughs> I was gonna yes. say uh, Usain Bolt. S- what's the average? Is it? Yeah, average human male. There's no way. Top speed. He's probably right around twenty five. He's probably the Hornets keeping up with him. So. Trying to find between one mile an hour and a hundred <laughs> miles an hour. Yeah, you'd, you'd be surprised. The range is really, really wide. Uh, 
twenty five is probably the max a human's ever run. Uh, it looks like Usain probably. Bolt um, to- top speed of twenty seven. Twenty seven point seven nine. Yeah, but how hundred meters? Yeah. So how long can you sustain that speed? All right. So I'm going bear. Final answer. I'm going bear. Final right, answer. Mike, <sighs> get on. Get in with us. This bear's not going to beat this bear up. This bear ain't going to care, man. Are we all punching the same bear? We're punching the same punching, bear three and that, times. That gives us better odds. I'm first. <laughs> you're first. Great. <laughs> well, if you're I'm, having to punch him after he's angry. I'm last. Uh, Matt from Twitter. Would you I'm going to punch him after he's full. After. <laughs> 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 would you rather impulsively say, this is from Matt on Twitter. Would you rather impulsively say, I really wish you'd stop doing that at random points of conversation with people. Or never be able to remember your own name. How often impulsively is a do lot. I use my name? I mean, obviously, if you're meeting someone new, you'd be like, hi, I'm Jason. Mm-hmm. But outside of that one setting, I don't know how often I really when care you get, about my name. How about when you get pulled over? I just give my ID. Yeah, I can remember who I am. If I go to the bank, I just, I you say, am here's who I am. Mike. Well, yeah. I don't remember my name, but here's my but ID. But I can prove that it's me. Mm. I really wish you would stop doing that. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. That's uh, the other side. Yeah. I mean, random points, because people's response to that will be doing what? Uh, that was my, I'm telling you, I didn't know what you were doing. And when you <laughs> said, like, yeah. I didn't know you were doing a, a bit. Uh-huh. And when you said, I really wish you'd stop doing that. I, I held my breath for a second. I was like, oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> it felt pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what everyone would say. And then you go on in the conversation like nothing happened. Absolutely. What percentage of the time, if you just keep doing that, I really wish you'd stop doing that. Do you get a, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do get they that. Just, they just <laughs> apologize. They were no, sure. You have no idea what you did. There's a chance they were like scratching their yeah. head. Like, or oh, like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. Whatever they were doing, they will stop doing. <laughs> but it's impulsive, right? So you do it once. Okay, they're a little worried. Yeah. They say, I'm sorry about that, whatever. Conversation goes on. 30 seconds later, I really wish you'd stop doing that. They're going to be like, what, what is that? What am I doing? I mean, you got to ask the question on the second one, right? Someone asks say, you so 30 second seconds third? later. I think it's the second. I think the second time I go, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing. But then they just keep moving. But then on. they just keep moving on to the conversation for sure. Oh man! And I, I guess that would mean that there are also times when you say that where people are doing things. So mm-hmm. it's like at the grocery store, someone's checking you out. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you're yeah. looking so hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I would tell them. Right. I really wish you'd stop doing that. <laughs> stop looking at me like that. Stop checking me out. I know. Lady. <laughs> I know. I know people like what they see. But can you stop doing that? <laughs> middle-aged dad <laughs> okay you know what i meant or like uh you know the the, the police officers talking oh that would the police officers like hey do you, you know why i pulled you over i really wish you <laughs> stop doing that or do they respect you because you've done a full power you've no you've, you've turned the power i don't think they want to release that power uh i really wish you'd stop doing that mike yeah i gotta go with the name thing yeah have you like I found, and, and I assume this is because I'm getting older. Do you guys ever have just complete brain fog, just a brain fart? You forget the name of like people you've known for a long time. Uh, that's a, been that's been happening to me a s- long time since the day I can remember. Okay, <laughs> okay. Like I sat with this person at lunch for three <laughs> years, and it's been a year, and I'm like, I don't remember <laughs> that person. You don't even name. know who they are. Yeah, no, usually I don't remember them at all. It's not just their name, but... There is nothing it is. worse than that feeling because it says something about them. Uh, no, I'm talking like, but people you know really, really well. That, and you're just like, like right now. Yeah. Like, yeah, but what do you do? You, are you just avoiding saying a name at the, and trying to figure it out? I'm, I'm, are you texting your wife going, who is this? <laughs> I'm not necessarily ta- when you're like talking to them, just when you're thinking about oh, someone yeah. and you're like, oh, you know, my, my neighbor's kid. Oh, cr- my neighbor's kid. What? Is, what? Is, oh, crap. What is this person's name? And then you just. Oh, I you, go worse than that. It'll be like, actually, do they have a kid? <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> and if they do, is it a boy or a girl? Because I know they introduced me to the child eight times, but I haven't remembered. It is such a helpless Memory feeling. Memory is, yeah, that's not good. That's why we need those glasses. We need like the... Uh, what, the black mirror glasses? Just, just some glasses that like remember for you and throw, throw it up on the screen. Mm-hmm. Like a little oh. life pro- a producer of uh, your life that's like... So we need glasses with facial recognition. Yes. Gotcha. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> that's already... I mean, that's life already. I bought, I bought something the other day. It's, um, it's a device that is specifically for putting a family calendar up on a screen and yeah. you hang it on okay. the wall. Uh-huh. Okay. That's all it does. And I'm telling you, it doesn't do much. It shows that it has a to-do list. We're like hung it on the wall, walking around. There's a camera on it. <laughs> there ain't nothing does with the camera. Why is there a camera? There's on a the- camera on the top. There's a button to cover the camera. It's got no purpose. Like there's no chat function. It's like they were going through the manufacturing process and the manufacturer was like, do you want me to throw in a spy camera? And they're like, yes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I guess so. All right. Go spy away. I mean, there's a camera on there with no purpose. Are you supposed to like walk up to it with the completed chore? It knows who's coming you're like, up to the you like you walk screen? up with like a like a dirty rag, you're like I cleaned the bathroom. Maybe. See? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That's weird. But privacy is an illusion. It's weird. We're not ever gonna have it. Yeah. You don't have so privacy. Just watch away. You're listening to a podcast right now, which means you have a device. It has all you. of your privacy. <laughs> it's just, it's just inevitable. I, I'm excited about this question, Stephen from the website. Would you rather live next to an active volcano or a wait poorly secured prison? <laughs> okay. So, so this a poorly secured prison implies that prisoners are how next to these am I? Hundred yards. A, that's a great question because the volcano. How active is this volcano? Well, active just means that it can erupt. It's not dormant. See, to me, okay. it's, to not, me, it's not up, erupting 24 hours a day. To me, I grew up thinking that there were two states of a volcano. State number one <laughs> is fully exploding okay. and raining lava down upon everybody. Okay. And I don't think the story of Pompeii helped that very mm. much because right. Pompeii was like, no one even knew. This was happening, and they were all like frozen, right? Well, not frozen, but yeah. I mean, like they were all completely covered Melted. in ash and in the midst of doing stuff. And yeah. then the other state was that it was just, you know, the kind that you can go up to the edge of it and look down into right. it and just toss things in if you want so to. So Al is posting oh. something an active volcano is a volcano which is either erupting or is likely to erupt. So what do you. Well, so, so so one that is is not currently erupting but has the potential would be called dormant. What I'm saying is what? that there are, are the, there are extinct? eruptions. Is that the uh, third option? Yes, extinct. Uh, there are okay. eruptions where it just means that the lava really slowly comes down the mountain. Yeah, that's most eruptions. And if I could, I get out in time. Well, here, with a lava alert or like set up a perimeter. I'm looking a lava perimeter. I'm looking and learning a little bit about <laughs> living near an active volcano. Mm-hmm. And what I'm learning here from Penn State uh, University <laughs> is that uh, is there a lot of volcanoes? I'm sure up they're there? thrilled to be included yeah. in this show. If you're welcome, shout out. <laughs> um, living near an active volcano can be beneficial as well as dangerous. What? It says, <laughs> Penn it, State. Uh, the soil is fertile. Yeah. yeah. A lot of volcanic products can be used for everyday life. Uh, they, they go on Ash and name trays. some of the good things, but then this is my Made favorite. Out of ash. This is my favorite quote. <laughs> but if you live too close to a volcano Uh-oh. and it erupts, it can be lethal. You think? Yeah. Wait a oh what? <laughs> the, 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 is that the pro con list that Penn State's writing up on the board for yeah. the class? Good soil, you could die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other one is uh, that the poorly secured prison would freak me out. Yeah, that. Do, what does poorly secured mean? Does that mean one prisoner a year escapes? Poor, yeah, that sounds good. One a year is too much. <laughs> that's 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 not too much for me. One a year means one uh, person. What if a you're year. the only house near it? Well, the, see, that's the that's yeah. the big difference. It's I'm like the farmhouse, right? If going, I'm, all the prisoners are going to your house. Well, then any a year is probably too much. I would not want that. But I'm willing to take the odds. Like you know. You, you, your house could get robbed at any time without living next to a, a poorly secured. Oh, they're prison. doing more than robbing. But my point here Maybe. is that there's always 
there's always a percentage chance that things could go right or wrong. And if it's one a year and I'm in a neighborhood, I'm not just the only farm within right. 30 miles, I think I'm you're, okay. You'll take the odds. I think I'm going to take you the might, odds. You might not be home yeah, when I might it happens. Not be home. My doors, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock my doors. You'll lock your doors. Maybe, maybe you put up like uh, some taller fences in the backyard. Oh, I was going to ask you like leave like a uh, like a milk and cookies like out? a milk and cookies Ooh. type of situation or like with a note that says please for the in, enjoy <laughs> for the road just don't come into my house. Mm, uh, I would put uh, a lot of welcoming things out in my neighbor's porch, and <laughs> I would really say like enter here. <laughs> we will we will. S- you know, keep you safe and hidden. What if we, we love harboring? <laughs> <laughs> Pro harboring. Yeah. What if you put prisons and you located them surrounding active volcanoes? Ooh. Oh, well, then we can have a house by both. <laughs> that's great <laughs> news. Wait, that's not the goal. <laughs> um, <laughs> then you have to evacuate a prison. Do you? <laughs> Oh, oh man. man. I the just maniac heard it. over just. here. Oh my goodness. Um I'm gonna vote for but do you <laughs> watch them melt. Watch them melt. I will live near the poorly secured prison. Yeah. Uh well I'll, I'll take the volcano. I'm imagining that a volcano's in a pretty place. It is true that you'd you'd live in a pretty cool yeah, too. The fertile hot. ground. What's that? Yeah, the fertile yeah. ground. And there's a chance I'll be memorialized in ash. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably be me just playing on my laptop. Um, all right. Yeah, you could. Right? It's what, nothing cool. You, you, could you try to do a the, pose? You're just like on the toilet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then, no. Or splash the wave of lava, and now this is you forever. Eric from... Uh, Man on toilet. Yeah. Yeah, then I'm the, I'm going volcano. Then the history classes come and see you. I'm trying to decide on this last question. Susanna from Patreon, would you rather have armpit hair that goes down to your hips? Oh, that's just that's just not a picture. No, not a picture. Or eyelashes that curl to the top of your head. Well, one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they uh, chokes me up. These these type of great yeah. questions. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One of these is easy to hide. Right, the armpit, the hair? armpit hair. I'm not taking my shirt off, and that's gonna suck having long armpit hair. You're probably gonna be even stinkier. Um, I mean, you're gonna have to braid it up. Ooh, that could be nice. <laughs> I mean, you 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 have no choice. Really, you can't just let that be free. I don't think so. I think that that's gonna be snagging, and and you're gonna get armpit hairs ripping out. You gotta you gotta. Is that why them. we braid hair? Uh, it's part of what I thought yeah. it was just for looks. There's an actual <laughs> no, no. functional. Yes. Really? Keeps your hair all together and, and can get it out of Stronger the way. Stronger together. <laughs> no, we're not trying to make a rope ladder. <laughs> we're just trying to keep it from falling out, being in your way. Well, but you gave the example of being like pulled out. You can't, yeah. You're not going to pull out oh a braid. Oh my gosh, that would be so painful. Yes, it would be Underarm terrible. Underarm hair being pulled out. Ooh. To be grabbed by your underarm hair oh, man, in, in a, a street fight? fight? You know how guys rip their shirts off and then they go fight? Yeah. Would you run from that guy? Yes. <laughs> yes. If he, if he pulled the yes. shirt off. No. And you want to know I mean, what else I wouldn't do? <laughs> I wouldn't grab his super long armpit hair. I, if, even knowing it could hurt him, I'm not going to put my hands around his armpit <laughs> no. hair and be like, I got you, bro. But now, if it's... If it's braided and it's thick enough, oh, then I'll grab it. No, no, and your you own armpit. Tie them up. No, do you have like do you have like nunchucks? <laughs> Just weaponized. Like do you do you have a, a like a whip type of a weapon? I don't Probably think not. So. No, that's a stretch <laughs> for this show. That's too. Bad. That's a huge stretch. <laughs> I mean, eyelashes that curl to the top of your head, you look like an alien. <laughs> Nobody could look at you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Would you wear a low low brim hat and tuck them up in the hat? I mean, you. No, I mean, your, like your a eyes, cowboy hat. Your eyes can't ever close. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real solid point. Ah, ah. Just, you'll just be permanently crying. <laughs> you won't have tears left to cry. Oh, eyes yeah. be so dry. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I mean, your eyes can't close. <laughs> there is no way to hide them because they're on your eyes. Hiding your eyes is means you can't what see. What do you mean? There's no way. You can wear a helmet all day long. 
Yeah, like a like a motorcycle helmet. Yeah. Okay. You feel free to take your helmet off, sir. No, I'm good. I'm real comfortable. I like to eat <laughs> with my helmet on. You just tell people you've signed up the ways the ways of yeah. the Mandalorians. This is the oh, way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I don't think I can <laughs> do the armpit I'm, thing, man. I'm I'm really? taking it because I believe I can weaponize it. And I <laughs> love the braiding idea. I'm gonna have to learn how to braid. It's real easy. Yeah, you, know, know, you don't know how to braid? Is I mean, just, I know the concept. I'm sure I could do it if... I just have never done it. Hmm. Interesting. Never tried? Uh, never say never. I don't remember most of my life. I don't know. Maybe I've <laughs> tried it before. You were a braiding specialist for 18 years. Yeah. It's, it's a simple. It's real easy. All right. I, not for me. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by our friends over at Prize Picks. What is Prize Picks? Well, it's the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They make it easy and exciting to play. Football is on the way. And testing your skills on Prize Picks this football season, it is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into 250 bucks with just a few taps. Prize Picks is extremely simple to play. You just get your picks, you submit your entry. It can take less than 60 seconds. I love Prize Picks. I have played on it for the last few years. I am being 100% serious. It's very easy. I like talking about player projections. Saquon Barkley, more than, more than 60 yards? I don't know. It's, it's up to you. Patrick Mahomes, is he going to have more than two passing touchdowns? That's up to you. Justin Jefferson, 100 yards? That's a high mark to hit. Do you think he can do it? Then you just say that Justin Jefferson's going to have more than 100 yards. Like I said, prize picks, extremely easy, and it's extremely fun. And they offer weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, prize picks discount select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. Go to prizepicks.com slash spitballers and use the code spitballers for a first deposit match up to $100. You heard that right. Your first deposit can get matched up to $100. Prizepicks.com slash spitballers. Code spitballers. Prizepicks.com slash spitballers. Use the code spitballers. Daily fantasy sports made easy. Prize picks. That's a great question. Bazi Motto from Twitter says, Local Wizard finally returns oh, and offers to give... Back. Everyone in the world the superpower of your choosing. Okay. The twist is that you are the only person in the world without that power. What do you choose? Hmm. Now, my first thought is how do I use this to my advantage? Yeah, that's, that's tough, though. Is uh, like benevolence or generosity a superpower I can no. give everybody else? Mm -hmm. No. I think we got to go classic superpower here. Yep. So like flying, x-ray vision. Strength. Wait, if you gave everybody x-ray vision and you're the only one without it, that would suck. Now, if you gave everybody <laughs> super strength and you're the only one without it, guess who's never helping someone move? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get out of, yeah. I'm get not out of. carrying in the groceries. You get like that. You do it. You can't do flight because pilots would go away. Like if everybody in the world could fly, air travel would be gone. I couldn't fly anywhere. You couldn't go backpack style? I could go back. I <laughs> like, could become a backpack. Piggyback. Yeah. Piggyback flight. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. Would there be people in that universe? Because you wouldn't need to fly like people human around. taxis? <laughs> yeah. Like, but everybody there be, can fly. But like, the... would the bigger people kind of be like four-seaters and stuff? <laughs> four-seaters? I don't know. You're the only person who needs a seat in the world. That's true. That's true. Everyone just flies next to each other. So these would be like human Pegasus fly, flying horses. Yeah, mm -hmm. I... I think that one does not work. That no. flight is a real Would problem. Would you be insulted if you had to give someone a ride and they wanted to put a saddle on you? If if I could fly? If you could fly, would you be offended if you were like, hey, like, hop on? And he's like, I'd actually really is, like a like, saddle. Like, like a horse saddle? Or are we talking like... It would be a like, human saddle, but it would be a lot like a horse saddle. But I'm saddle. saying, is it the style of a horse saddle or is it more like the backpack where they put the, the no, little kids no, no. on it's it for hiking? It's more like a horse saddle. Yeah, I'm not you doing that. You have to that. get on all fours to put it on. I think I'm 100% <laughs> fine with that so long as the... What is it? The bridle is not in my mouth. The, yeah, oh, yeah. That'd be... You like if, if, the, if the saddle includes they're guiding me by moving my head, 
that's where you draw the line. I draw the line there. But you what could, if you it, could grow your hair out? You could do that. Your armpit hair. Can they still uh, like a mane? Can they use spurs and kick you in the butt? Yeah, that's fine. You but not the mouth thing. I'm starting <laughs> to picture Jason with long horse hair. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Weirdo. Big flying. What do you mean mane? weirdo? We're talking Why? about you becoming a human horse. Is that and what flying we were talking people about? I guess, yeah, now that he brought up a saddle, now you, you've <clears> just turned into a horse. Yeah, I'm just wondering if you could pull off the long back hair thing. Uh, Have I, you thought about going mullet? Yeah, thank you, Jason. Yeah, because thank I can still Mike. grow that hair yeah. pretty yeah, well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, for, you know. And you if, could braid it together with your armpit if hair. I had to, if I had to have a horse saddle, I would have a mullet, for sure. And, I mean, eventually, skull it. <laughs> skull it? Yeah, when the top is just, when the part, the... The business is closed. There's nothing left on the top. Is this a real thing? Oh, yeah. It's called it's a skullist? Called, yeah. Skullist. Oh, you've never heard that? No, I've never heard that. I get what it is. It's a <laughs> mullet where your skull is showing because you can't grow it in the front. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is a real thing. A skullet is disgusting. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, man. That's the, the people who they can't let go of the party. Oh, Benjamin Franklin kind of had a skullet. Oh, yeah, he did. Wow, he was the OG skullet. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, Trendsetter. His hair was long on the sides, too, though. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just in the back. <laughs> he really should have shaved the sides. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, old B. Franklin. All right. So, uh, what other superpowers are there? Like, if there was mind reading, would that just cause mass chaos in the entire world? Like, you would be ignored because everyone like be is reading spared? everyone's mind. I don't know. I don't know. I. I've wondered if that the ability to, you'd have to turn it off if you had the mind reading. If it's at will, it doesn't cause chaos, right? Right. What if we gave everyone just like uh, Wolverine regeneration? So if people are just healthy, that's nice. And, and they are live. you worried about jealousy? Is that the number one situation here? Yes. You just don't want people to have something you don't have. Right. If it, if everyone can fly, and I'm you don't want to bless one. everybody except for you. Well, I, that's why I'm giving them health. <laughs> Would super speed hurt you? Yeah, oh, super speed's way super too good. Super speed is like the ultimate power. It, but if everybody had it, like your DoorDash is there, <laughs> lickety split. Yeah, our DoorDash that benefits is, you. Are DoorDash people doesn't DoorDashing? exist yeah. because they don't need it. Because they'll just go get their own food lickety oh, split. Oh, no. DoorDash. Uh, see, you're eliminating industries with these. Yeah, no, I'm going night vision. I think that is. Okay. That's the one where it's like, hey, guys. Oh, uh, that's wanna, creepy. <laughs> I want to help yeah. you out. But it, I mean, Everybody around you is just totally chilling at night, and you can't see anything? They're still going to want to sleep at night, but if they happen to stroll through the night in it's the woods, a good one. Yeah. that's fine. You can see better than I can. Okay, and you could just put on night vision goggles. Right, exactly. So I, you could, could I could do gain the, the superpower. You could do I like that. Uh, Canadian Bacon with a really important question on Twitter. What's the most annoying color? Oh. Have you ever thought about that? What's the most annoying color? No. The, Top of mind, what was the first color you thought of? Tan. S salmon. Ooh, tan's good. Salmon's good. I was thinking yellow. We're all in the same category. I was just going with one of them where it's like, it's the fart sniffy name. Salmon? Mm. Yeah. That oh, yeah. literally smells and like on, fish. Well, not, I'm saying, you know, like, there, it's it's not just red, yellow. Mm. They're like... It's mm. like a little in between. It's, it's almost like the shirt like, you're wearing right now. Yeah, no, I, no, I know. <laughs> it's very close. And What's then, the most annoying color? The color me. of my shirt right now. But it's like... Mm, uh, I don't know. Chartreuse. Yeah, th yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's like these colors are. Their names are. What too you, specific. What is that shirt color then? If you would, if it's, you, it's a salmon shirt. No. <laughs> no, it's not orange enough. I don't think this is more of a mauve. Could be a oh mauve is a bad name. Yeah, Ugh, mauve. Is that a name of? Do people name people that? That's mod. Oh mod. <laughs> mauve. But if, but if mod is a mom wearing mauve, ooh, you got a problem. I. I feel like we all chose it kind of like a yellow leaning color. Yeah, we, we live we live in Arizona. We've is that why you chose tan? tan? Everything's just yeah, tan everything and beige is. and brown. Beige, Ooh, beige. Is, beige is actually. Yeah. As soon as I said that, Yo. that was beige, beige. is out. Beige it's, is the worst. It's incredible that people who don't live here, what they like about here, like turquoise, like the turquoise jewelry. Oh, I, I love the color turquoise. Right. No, I like the color, but the jewelry, yeah. we all are used to it. We're used to tan. We're used to beige. But other people think is really cool, like the desert colors. People think beige is cool. No. Yeah, yeah. They, no, Southwestern they decor exists. No, they you don't. see Al Nodden back there. Uh, he's they make right. they go and decorate their living rooms in other states. Going, 
you think howdy it, partner you think <laughs> other other people outside of this state think beige is cool or is just a good color that they yes, like the color yes, beige yes which all of them wait but, Oh, those were all things. Yeah, I'm those asking were options. I'm asking, what do you think people? By the way, I nailed it on mauve. That's a mauve. Yeah, it's a marvelous shirt. <laughs> Thank you. So what? I think that people out of state, some of them find it very, very nice. I think that the changes are like, oh, that's interesting because they're used to being in like, but I don't know, vibrant, exciting. I don't know what a lot co of colors. I guess I don't know the generic green. color of other states. Yeah. Do they get tired of green trees? No, because humans don't get tired of that because it's yeah, the color don't. of life. Why right. did I say yellow? I don't know. I'm post yellow, post yellow is like ewey. It's, it's, it's just, like pee. It's, it's bright. It's loud. Maybe a little obnoxious. I refuse to believe that people like the color beige. <laughs> I'm posting a poll. A person who gravitates towards beige, she said, values comfort and warmth. It's classic. Never goes out of style. It's soothing. Beige creates a sense of calmness and tranquility. Everything here is beige. The ground is beige. Mm -hmm. The land is beige. The sky feels beige. The, the walls are beige. The it's just the homes. It's all just you know, tan I think brown. You, I and think beige. you're beige. I think you're a beige now, personality. Is, it, is that a compliment or not from Andy? I'm not sure. Where do I live? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, Mike, I you know, nice mauve shirt. Thank you, Cleo from Patreon. If you could communicate fluently. With any one species of living creatures, which would you choose? I feel the, like we've uh, probably the easy answer is dog. That would be that would change a lot. Yeah. Would you like your dog less? Because I think it's a, it would, you'd find out it's a stupid animal. That's what would happen. I don't think you would. Yeah. You you'd be like, I want to talk to you, and then they'd be like, I want to lick, I want to <laughs> lick something, <laughs> I'm gonna lick that. I mean, look that thing over there. I've, I've seen, I mean, like dogs that can actually get into that. They're trained to be you know, work dogs and assistant dogs and things like that. Like you ever had one of those dogs? I have not. Exactly. But, those aren't the dogs you're talking to. My dog can't stop pooping on pillows. <laughs> is that still not changed? No, that we should never do, change. We should do a weekly check. The weekly check is, is Pepper not, still pooping on pillows. The weekly check is not does Pepper poop on pillows. The weekly check is do you still have Pepper? That's, that's oh, or do you have new pillows? Well, yeah, do you, you, what do you do with the pillows? Well, we wash the pillowcases, of course. Oh, so they're, they've got pillowcases? Yes. They have okay. pillowcases and... I is it only pillows or get, is she... Uh, no. She's opening up the... Uh, she'll, the she'll, what about your couch? Yeah, oh, absolutely. The couch is, is on limits? Couch, what color is your couch? Uh, uh, well, have we, is it beige? Is it, it's is beige. It beige? <laughs> <laughs> It goes with everything, that's guys. Bad for, <laughs> except for poop. That's the one color that shows up. All right. I am 256 votes in. and Is it looking good for beige? I, oh, no. I, this, oh, should no. Be, this should be 90-10 that they do not like beige. Um, but it's not? 44% of people like the color beige. Yeah, What's man. What's wrong with you? Oh, that's that's actually wild. I, I didn't expect that. I mean, beige and like... Beige and khaki are the same color, right? Yeah. 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 So maybe a bunch of Dockers fans yeah, out there. Yeah, so you have big target hmm. ransacking your poll. Wow. That is a shocking number. It's a I've really got a state number. for you, people. <laughs> what if that was – because when people keep moving here and you're like, it's too hot. Why are people coming yeah. here? Like, It's like one of the fastest growing states. Mm -hmm. What if it was just for beige? Yeah, people are like, oh, I love the We're going to get beige everywhere. Tan. Beige, tan. Like, we have so many different ones that come to mind. Mm. Yep, light brown. I don't, I can't think of another, maybe birds. I could, I could go with birds. It's going up. It's going up. It's a 45%. Oh, no. Shut it down. Beige is taking Shut it over. down. Don't let them know. Uh, oh, we're talking about animals? Well, the species. I was just saying birds. Right. Maybe birds would be a cool thing to. Bird. Could, could birds go get you stuff if you, like, could talk to them? Uh, you mean. They, Some of them could, like a hawk. Could it go like pick you up like a? I'm sure, people you people like have hawks and things as pets and train them. Hmm. I mean, I've I've had animal shows where a bird swoops, like just like a foot or two above your head. If we just had trained birds, we also wouldn't need DoorDash because they could just bring you your food. They pick up the bag and then they take off. They would have. You'd need a really big bird or multiple birds working together. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, Agreed. Like, uh, I guess I was thinking more hawks and stuff. Like is that Cinderella? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She where you pick has up the birds. Like, yeah, and they hold they hold her up. You don't remember that, Mike? They hold up Cinderella. No, they don't hold her up. They hold the dress up or whatever. Yeah, like and they're struggling. I mean, it's that's a lot of birds just to hold up fabric. Yeah, they're not holding her up. Oh, it wasn't her. This isn't a bag of cheeseburgers. Like if I'm yeah. getting an order from Five Guys, I need a pelican. Well, they give you a bigger. <laughs> Five guys, to be say, fair, that's that's a heavy burger. <laughs> they give you the bird based on like <laughs> right. The birds what? are all waiting, and your order determines which bird you get. What what type of bird would you like for your delivery? I'll take the pelican. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna eat a lot tonight. <laughs> Pelican's got the that's the one that's got the like trap built in. The trap? Well, they like uh, yeah. They can put stuff in their mouth. Yeah. yeah well, there's their their beak. Yeah, and then yeah. they also the like beak trap. Yeah, the beak trap. <laughs> yeah. They also do this weird thing where they like. I think it's like their spine or their stomach like can come out of their mouth. Oh, that's but, gross. Yeah, that, you didn't need to tell us that. You, yeah. you should, you, I'm going to pull a video for you guys eventually. Keep mm. it to mm. yourself. Yeah, lie to me about At stuff first, like I that. thought that it would be cool to talk to spiders so I could actually tell them, I hate you. Get out. Oh. I hate you. You're not welcome. Then I realized there are probably spiders around me more often than I realize. Well, have you heard them talking? But if I heard, oh my gosh. What if you weren't talking to him, but you also heard what they said to That's each other? That's what I'm saying. Just an absolute nightmare. Yeah, after he goes to bed, I'm going to sneak in there and crawl on his face. It doesn't even matter if they're saying, hey, Carl, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> I just know they're there now. Right. <laughs> they're super friendly. What if you found out that all spiders were the most polite, kind well, creatures in? I think if I found that out, maybe my phobia would go away. Maybe. I don't even know if that's true, but I'm not willing to find out. Because they're maybe, monsters. Maybe they've all literally just been trying to sneak away from you and not hurt you. All right, let's draft. How often do you sign up for a monthly subscription and forget about it? I can tell you for me how often. It's every time I sign up for a monthly subscription. Did you know that Rocket Money can cancel a subscription for you that would otherwise be tricky and time consuming. We have used Rocket Money long before they were a sponsor. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that lets you find and cancel your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Most people are thinking they're like spending $80 on subscriptions, when in reality, the number's probably closer to $200. When you sign up for so many things like streaming services to watch one show or a free trial that you forget about, don't use your, oh, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to cancel that, and you don't cancel it. Rocket Money can even negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money also lets you monitor all your expenses in one place very conveniently, recommends custom budget plans based on your past spending, and they'll even send you notifications when you've reached those spending limits. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way. By going to rocketmoney.com slash ballers. That's rocketmoney.com slash ballers. Rocketmoney.com slash ballers. The Spitballers Draft. All right, we are drafting things that start with the letter S. A real <laughs> special draft today. It's ridiculous. And I couldn't think I of mean, anything. I, I, I couldn't think of anything at all. <laughs> I do have a one-on-one. I do too. <laughs> um, I don't, which is a problem because I have the first pick. So I'm going to start with... <sighs> I don't even know what I'm going to start. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to start with. This is great. You knew just so oh, you... Oh, I absolutely You did. knew what this I'm gonna was. I'm going to take sports. Starts oh, with S. Ooh. I'm going to take sports That's number one overall. Not on my list. Yeah. What an absolute Your list mistake. would have to be every letter, or I mean, every word in the dictionary. But no, but that and we that's do a right show there. about football. That's yeah. a great it's pick. Okay, so my, you're happy with that pick. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a, a great that's pick. That's a sensational pick. Yeah. In fact, sensational. Uh, it, that that should be the one-on-one. Good job. Yeah. Thank that was, you. That was a great, oh, nice. great pick. I think I know Mike's pick, but we'll see. Okay. Uh my pick, which, I mean, it's it it's just it. Look, it's the it's the best day of the week. I will take Saturday. Mm, very you, nice. You actually get to sleep in like 
An extra and 15 then, minutes. Maybe, yeah, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Depends on how nice your kids are going to be or, okay, okay. or how loud your dog wants to be. But Saturday, especially like when you're in the school season, and for us, for work, our, our workflow, our, our, our work schedule times up basically with the school schedule of getting really crazy. Saturday, just the value of that day. <laughs> That's becomes, a great pick. It wasn't on my list, and becomes, it's, it's awesome. It comes elevated. wasn't on my list either. Great pick. That's what's crazy about doing a draft like this. We probably have <laughs> – When there's, I've, there's no rules. <laughs> I've, I've got 20 things on my list, and I don't know how much overlap there's even going to be. Like, there's just so many different options out there. Um, look, when, when I was thinking of the letter S, something came to mind. Okay. Because uh, – I've got a guess. How many letters? I too many to count. Oh, all <laughs> right, never mind right then. Never mind. No, the, this will not be on either of your lists. I'm sure. Super califragilist. You had the first word oh, right. Super. Okay. Superman. Oh, he's, Superman's on my list. He's got an S on his chest. Yeah. So for a drafts with the letter S, one, I love Superman. He's the best superhero. And he by that, I don't worst mean superhero. By that, I mean he's the most dominant superhero. He is, which is the what alpha also superhero. makes him the best. Dude. Yeah, he's boring. He's super boring. He's not the most fun superhero to watch. But if you got to be a superhero, like tell me you're not going yes. Superman. Of course you're if, going Superman. If a genie shows up and says, "Give me a wish," you're and your wish is not, "I want Superman's powers." Yeah, you're doing it. You're wrong. probably doing it wrong. So, so that's a good pick. Those are good first rounders. Yeah. And now, Sports Saturday and Superman. I'm going with something that I thought was going to be Mike's 101 that because I know you love this so much. Okay. It encompasses quite a bit of room, and that is space. Yeah. Ah, that was okay. in the contention for 101. Okay. Yeah. That's, On my list, sp yeah. Space is just so cool. and you know it, I prefer outer space. Yeah, but that doesn't start with an <laughs> S. So I had to make it space. Uh, otherwise, but when we get to the okay. drafts that start with the letter oh. O, <laughs> outer space will right. be on the list. Okay. All right. Um, that means it's back to Mr. This draft Mike Wright. So stupid. Oh, it's stupendous. Um, okay. I will take uh, a pick. I'm a little surprised this snuck by Ooh. Jason Moore. Uh, SpaghettiOs. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I should have taken it. <laughs> well, you're on to it. With going with the food object. Okay. Steak. Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not on my list. I could have got Superman that later. That was my guess when I asked you about how many letters you had. Oh, it was steak. What a mistake. Oh! oh. <laughs> Can't get away from it now. Dang it. Yeah, it. Uh, steak is delicious. How does that not make my I, list? I don't know. There's too many things that start with the letter S. I have like 50 things on my list. It's a good. It's a good pick, Mike. So you have uh, steak what? and Saturday, which you can combine. You, mm. yeah, you That's can a have, bonus. You can have steaks on Saturday. And what? Superman and Space can be combined. What Do you guys have a go-to steak sauce? I do. I do have a go-to steak sauce. <laughs> um, and <laughs> You're saying it I'm wrong. A fa I'm a fancy <laughs> steak lover. Okay. So it is super faux pas. I love oh, me some ketchup? A1. Oh, do you just, really? Just regular old classic A1 steak sauce. So you steak sauce. Do you ask for it? I, I do. I do okay. ask for it. And but but most, they usually have their they own turn their nose they up have at a you? house steak sauce, yes. right? Yes, usually the restaurants I'm going to have a house steak sauce, and they look at me like, sir. <laughs> I, you didn't I, mean I, to say that. I must not have heard you. <laughs> I go, I'm a Bernays man. I like Bernays. Yeah, oh, I like oh, a man. red wine port uh, steak mm -hmm. sauce I had recently. Very nice. also like the uh, horseradish flavor. Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I, don't I can go Oscar style, which is like Why, a Bernays. What is Oscar? It's basically Bernays, but then you also get crab, lump crab meat on top. I thought Oscar was lobster. It's crab? That would be called lobster style usually. Yeah, some that, some places. Fair. Can, what, are, what is this conversation? I can see how you'd be confused. That's lobster. <laughs> but if you want crab, you have to get Oscar. Yeah. What? Oscar Why wouldn't that just be crab? Cra yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> All right, so I got two picks. Crabster. My pick number one is going to compete with Jason's pick. Oh. And I'm going with stars. I'm taking, uh, I'm taking okay. stars. I've already you've got, got all the gap. I've, I've got, got the you. gap between them. <laughs> oh, I've got all of you. <laughs> you got just a piece of mine. Um, so I'm taking stars. Second pick, 
going a little different here. I'm going with silence. Ooh, okay. I'm taking silence All with right. my third pick. Boring. <laughs> Oh man, silence. some some good silence every once oh, in a while. Oh, you 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 know yeah. you've had kids as long as I have. That's about the biggest dream you have is some silence. Silence can be great. You okay. know, I think I really think negatively towards silence. Like I like boring. I don't want silence. I don't like silence in conversations, gaps in speech, all that. Like silence is really negative to me until I have it. <laughs> Until I have it, and then it's like, this is so nice. You just don't know how to get it. Yeah, I think that's the truth. And it's just, you got to just stop you, talking. You, but you you have a wall up trying to protect yourself because you feel like you'll never have the silence. Yeah. So your silence is bad. But then when it gets through, the wall's down, and you you enjoy it. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> All right, Mike, you have Saturday oh, and no. steak. you got to make a third pick. All right. So I have Saturday. I have steaks and... The only thing that could make the steaks better on a Saturday is if they were on sale. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're taking sale. Who doesn't love a sale, boys? <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty that's a pretty cool pick. I like it. I, I like when the things, variety we can things, get here. When you get me a discount on something that I was already going to buy, oh, man, <laughs> I just won life that day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, Jason, you get to pick again. Okay. I get two picks. I get to finish my draft up here. Um, I was pretty sad to see stakes go. I, it's I my, can imagine. I think that's my pinnacle, you know, my, my favorite of the favorites. But I have a close, close second place. Spaghetti-os. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit further. That's in the top 100 for sure. Um, but no, a, a very close second place, and it also happens to start with S. It's on my list, so I'm taking sushi. Yeah, I love sushi. I can. That'll be a popular pick. I can eat that. Well, I was gonna say more than steak, but I can eat both of them all the time. <laughs> I don't really tire of either of those. What's your go-to roll? Um, well, usually it's like specialty house rolls from places around here. If it's just a generic roll that's everywhere, then it's probably a spicy tuna roll. Mm. But yellowtail sashimi is my favorite. I can't decide if i like the spicy tuna or spicy salmon more they're very different they are they are the tuna's real mushy <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, andy what, what do you prefer for sushi are you i only are do you the, a sushi guy i only do the like um like the, the crab the, the fake one crab meat uh california rolls and uh the you spicy, spicy, spicy crab, crab roll yeah it's the so oscar roll. i got the spicy tuna <laughs> he's got the spicy oscar roll yeah. and you've got the uh <laughs> spicy spicy oscar. Salmon. there you go <laughs> Um, so you've got Superman space and sushi and one more pick to make. This is near and dear to me because it is uh, just a place I love. And I think they're fancy. They're fun. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It just means uh, so much. It means so much to me in my life story. No, but... Um, Owl and I are members at one of these places up here. It's one of my favorite places to go. I'm taking speakeasies. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're that's so... A, wait, you you have a membership to a speakeasy? Yeah, it's like a real fancy one where it's like... You have to be a member to get in? You don't have to be a member to get in, but you it's can It's the only way be. to get things Oscar. They <laughs> <laughs> don't stop you from coming in if you're a member. But also, people who are members, they are, they also get to go in. <laughs> what do you get? Non-members have like cover charges, and there are member only like events and stuff. But it, it's a really <laughs> so wait, there's so there's a cover charge for for non-members. non-members. So you just you've just prepaid your cover charge. <laughs> I've way overpaid my cover <laughs> charge, Mike. I mean, I would save so much money if I just the paid best, cover the charges. The best part is there are no memberships, and he insisted upon a membership, and they just made something up for him. <laughs> They're like, uh, yes, we do, sir. Five hundred yeah. a month. To, to the, be fair, the napkin was sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> please <laughs> member, sign. Member please ID. sign here. <laughs> member ID one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> to be fair, I I got the membership at a charity auction that I had okay. never heard of. Okay. So it was that you've since renewed. <laughs> I will be renewed, <laughs> but it hasn't been a year yet. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. 
All right. Speakeasy was not on my list. I Mike. figured that could be my fourth pick. Yeah, you've got uh, one last pick for your steak on sale on a Saturday. Your day's pretty good. Uh, oh, what's your man. final pick? You got to complete the story. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's. I've put myself into a corner here because my fourth pick was not going to be related to those things. Uh, yeah, I can't worry about this story. I'm just going to take. It. So my fourth pick. Uh, this word is very powerful. It remains a go-to insult for children. And yet, it's like if you say this to someone's face, they're going to feel real bad. And it's just stupid. Oh, just picking the word stupid. Just taking mm. the word stupid. Because okay. if you look someone in the face and you call them stupid. That's very. It, it hurts. It's really hurty. <laughs> it's really <laughs> like hurty. hurty. Yeah. Yeah. It's very hurty. I don't, I, what is I don't know on? what's happening. He just got back from the speed. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. So you have uh, Jason finished with Superman space sushi and speakeasies. Mike with Saturday steak sales and stupid. I have sports stars in silence and I'm going to finish it out because you guys have two. Things. You have sports stars, <laughs> sports, comma, stars, comma, silence. Okay. And I need something and... that I can eat since you both took one of those mm -hmm. so i'm going with spaghetti -os. s'mores oh. i'm taking s'mores with the final pick that's a good solid finisher of our s'mores things that start with <laughs> s draft i would which did we pick your favorites listeners <laughs> <laughs> no you didn't oh, oh. Well, oh all right al what you got spitballers comedy podcast oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, the God. waiver wire oh, wow man, actually, how did we miss out on the spitballers it's just not one of our favorites <laughs> Uh, I had sunsets, smiles, Santa, oh, oh, those sarcasm. Are great. great. Yeah. Man, I can't believe none of those were on my list. I've got. But I went with s'mores. I, I've got Sasquatch. Yeah. Thought uh, about it. Starbucks. Okay. Uh, Skittles, Simpsons, subtitles, and this. Ooh. Subtitles. I do love, love subtitles. Good subtitle. And then <laughs> my favorite that I didn't pick. This would have. This was close with speakeasies. Streaming. Ah, uh, I don't yeah. I can't leave live without streaming services. Just the the couple highlights left of Salt, oh, and good one. Sonic Boom, <laughs> Sonic Boom. <laughs> just, so Sonic is that why it came into yeah. your mind? Yeah, wow, Sonic Boom. <laughs> what did we learn today? I bears weigh between yeah. one hundred and <laughs> nine hundred thousand pounds. I said I wrote down like we yeah. have no idea yeah. how much bears yeah. weigh. We can't get close enough to weigh them. Uh, I think I also learned that Mike has a, uh, a dislike of people who use the word salmon to describe a color. And Jason can't breed. No. Yet. Yeah. Work, working on growing out that armpit hair. You never tried with I've, your daughter's I've hair? I've never tried, no. Tonight. Okay. Yeah. Give without, it without telling her. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Tell your friends and family about the show. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.